This is a quick global overview of possible climate change impacts on wine growing regions and the repercussions for wildlife. Red in these maps represents current wine areas that lose suitability by mid-century. In major wine growing regions such as California, much suitability may be lost inland while coastal areas remain more suitable. Meanwhile, the blue areas indicate areas which will gain in suitability by mid-century in areas as north as British Columbia and Montana. And in the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Area, that may spell trouble for connectivity for wide-ranging animals such as wolves and grizzlies. Meanwhile, in China, the world's fastest growing wine producing region, current wine suitability is concentrated in the central mountains, which are habitat for the giant panda. As climate changes, wine suitability will move up slope in even more direct contact with panda habitat. Traditional wine growing regions in Mediterranean Europe lose much suitability, and vineyards there may turn to surface water to cool the grapes on the vine or irrigate. Northern Europe sees large areas of new wine suitability and some upslope areas such as the Pyrenees, where, which may be future home to the Iberian lynx, see increasing suitability as well. In Chile, declining suitability leading to water withdrawal is a concern as well, where species such as owls and Freshwater frogs and toads may be put at risk as well as the guigna, a rare small cat that inhabits areas of the Andes. In the Cape of South Africa, upslope movements may result in increased pressure on the proteas, which are emblematic flowers of the region, including this, the king protea, the national flower of South Africa. And finally, in Australia, inland areas lose suitability while coastal areas retain some suitability and new suitability opens in Tasmania. This concludes our brief tour of climate change impacts on wine production and possible repercussions for wildlife.